if SAP is going to update one of their pre-delivered content, how do you actually understand what has been changed and how it is affecting your thing? So a lot of customers have taken some of the SAP standard content and adopted their own change of it. So obviously you have the option here. You can see it has been updated. You can update the package with all the content that exists. And then obviously you can see that the change document here about what was changed uh, between these different versions. Um, and sometimes that will give you enough information. In the FIGAF tool, we have also synchronized these things. And after we updated the model, we have synchronized the, the, all the data into the FIGAF tool. And we can now see that there actually exists quite a lot of you know, some, some changes in this. We can see that there's a new file document uh, and there's a change of the iFlow and a change of the configuration. Um, the package, there's not much to see in this one. We can obviously also look at this and see what are the different uh, versions that we have of this model. And if we just run the comparison, we can see there's some text changes uh, to this. Um, probably not that it matters that much. But the place where it matters the most is in the uh, iFlow. And here we also have pr a lot of information. So we got some different versions here. We can check out the different versions we have. We can run comparison. And we have two way of comparison. A visual BPM viewer. And this one will give us an overview of the model. And then we can actually see what has happened between two different versions. Uh, this takes a little while to <laughs> to import and what we can see here is we can see the full BPM model We can see that there is some differences in the start and the end processing of these things um, and This is just because I think that the event definition has been changed that it sees us at two different things We can obviously zoom out of the processes and see if there's any new additions to it and here we have the new process so it seems like it's mostly some layout pro properties that have been added as a part of this. Um, so they've taken from the aligned model to a non-aligned model. Not really sure what otherwise is going on as a part of this. Um, we also have another way to view the differences. And this is our diff to HTML. We can view the BPM model as simplified and this diff to HTML. And I think this is the most important one that you want to check to, to be able to see what's actually happening as a part of this change. And here we can see that there's a number of files that have been changed. The manifest, we have got a new version of it. Uh, the metadata property, there's some new data on that. And for the properties, there has been added a number of different new login properties and stuff like that between these two models. Um, and we can see all the data that exists here uh, between these different versions. Um, and if we go to the iFlow, we can also see what has changed in this iFlow properties. Just as we saw it in the visual model, here we just see it in the uh, JSON model. And then you can obviously see what which fields has been changed as a part of this change. So I hope you see some of the benefits of this being able to understand precisely what was changed as a part of an update of the BPM model. Um, both SAP pre-delivered content and also your own content. You can see what precisely has been changed between two different models, giving you a much better view about the changes. So there's a free trial. It's uh, really easy to get started. Go to figaf.com forward slash DevOps and sign up and try it out. Thanks.